Is static electricity affecting your production? People who work with printing presses, textiles, plastic parts, packaging, sheet fed materials, and filling operations get in a routine where they expect their processes to run smoothly. A simple drop in humidity that comes with the cold winter weather or an increase in friction or speed can change all of that in a matter of seconds. Out of nowhere, things can come to a screeching halt due to labels not going where they're supposed to, ink jetting that isn't legible, jamming, tearing, dust attraction, or painful static electricity shocks. It's important to know what caused the problem so that you can keep it from happening again. A simple demonstration using a couple pieces of plastic can help you understand what's happening. To do this, we use Xair's 12-inch Super Ion Ear Knife connected to a Model 7901 power supply, the Model 7905 digital static meter to show the charge, and of course, the plastic. Under normal conditions, the plastic is electrically balanced or might have a slight charge on the surface. When the room air is humid and conductive, a small charge will likely go unnoticed. Xair's static meter detects voltage by simply aiming it at a surface. The meter only has to be close by to detect where the charge is being generated. One inch or 25 millimeters away will provide an accurate voltage measurement. We'll turn the meter on, then zero it. It's important to zero the meter to obtain an accurate voltage reading. A common practice is to aim the meter at the ceiling where there's no charge, then push the zero button. When the button is released, it will read zero or close to it depending on the dryness of the air and the charges on the surfaces close by. People can't feel a static charge until it reaches about 1500 volts. When the meter is aimed at the plastic, the charge on the surface is very low, approximately 200 to 300 volts. We'll rub the two pieces of plastic together to generate some static electricity. What you can't see is that the electrons are being stripped off of each surface, which makes the plastic electrically imbalanced. This leaves the potential for shocks, dust attraction, and numerous other problems. The higher the voltage, the greater the static problem. You'll notice that the charge changes as it's aimed at different points on the plastic sheet, a result of it being an insulator. When you press and hold the power button, it holds the voltage reading measured at the spot where it was depressed. The static meter measures a whopping 12,800 volt charge on the plastic. Xair's 12-inch Super Ion Air Knife will be used to neutralize the charge on the surface. The power switch on the power supply is turned on, along with the compressed air that's been set to 5 PSIG, or 0.3 bar. The airstream is now filled with a tremendous number of positive and negative ions. The charged plastic surface will now take as many positive or negative ions from the super ion air knife that it needs to become balanced. This time when the static meter is used, it shows the high voltage charge has been neutralized. An ionizer will only remove the static electricity charge from the surface that it's exposed to. It's possible that the other side of the plastic could be fully charged and may require that another ionizer be placed on that side to neutralize it. In the event the ionized surface rubs against another insulator somewhere downstream, it is possible that the surface may become charged once again. When used without the super air knife, the ionizing bar that's attached to it is only effective when mounted within 2 inches or 51 millimeters of the surface. Here it is shown discharging packing peanuts so they will no longer cling to the surface. The same is true for this ionizing point used on a slitting operation. Many applications run at high speeds or over a large surface area that requires the ionizer to be mounted away from the charged surface. Here's an example showing a 6 inch or 152 millimeter super ion ear knife that moves the static eliminating ions out over a distance. It keeps the labels from building up a charge as they move across the plastic rollers. The super ion ear knife is the top pick of X-Ear customers. It provides superior static elimination while using very little compressed air. The noise level is hard to detect and it's the best choice for long distances and high speeds. The Super Ion Air Knife is available in small lengths like this 3 inch or 76 mm unit used to clean syringes. Longer lengths are also available, like this 48 inch or 1219 mm unit that's being used to eliminate static and dust on these printed book covers. Many stock sizes are available up to 54 inches or 1372 mm, along with unlimited system lengths. 
They require only 5 PSIG or 0.3 bar of compressed air and will produce coverage several feet away which is ideal for applications like the one shown here on this sheeter. Large parts may require multiple Super Ion Air knives. The arrangement shown here makes it easy to eliminate dust attraction on automotive bumpers and fascias prior to painting. Exair Super Ion Air Wipe creates a 360 degree ring of ionized airflow that clamps around the part. It is best suited for cleaning hose, pipe, cable, extruded shapes, and anything you can think of to fit through the center. The Ion Air Cannon delivers a high concentration of ionized airflow, and it's ideal for those areas that need concentrated cleaning power. Nobody likes getting behind the wheel of their vehicle and looking at the speedometer lens only to see a bunch of dust trapped inside. Well here, an automotive manufacturer blows away the static in the dust before attaching the clear lens to the speedometer cluster. Xair's Ion Air Gun combines incredibly fast static decay rates with low air consumption. It's shown here blowing off dust and contaminants from plastic bottles prior to applying the label. It's commonly used to eliminate static and dust from three-dimensional parts prior to packaging. The Ion Air Jet is an effective spot cleaner that covers a precise spot. Here it's being used to clean the necks of mouthwash bottles prior to installing the tamper-proof band. The Stay Set Ion Air Jet is a variation of the Ion Air Jet. It has a flexible hose that holds it in position once it's aimed. It comes complete with a magnetic base and shutoff valve. It's shown here cleaning a glass lens prior to installing it on a gauge. All of the Xair static eliminators are shockless to the touch and are powered with a 5000 volt power supply. The two outlet power supply is ideal for most applications. There's also a power supply that has four outlets that's suitable for applications using up to four static eliminators. These power supplies are available in your choice of 115 or 230 volts. Of course, they are UL listed to US and Canadian safety standards and are CE and ROHS compliant. Xair manufactures a complete line of static eliminators that are in stock and ready to use for your application. We also manufacture static eliminators suited to specific applications. They are intelligent compressed air products that can neutralize the static and keep your production running smoothly. If you'd like to know more about Xair Static Eliminators, please contact an Xair Application Engineer at 1-800-903-9247 for the U.S. and Canada. Our worldwide number is 513-671-3322.